listen. You know, it's funny, people think that a staging is just fluffing and putting in pink pillows on the green sofa. Really, it's not that. Stagers really are well versed and they have a great eye for knowing how a buyer is going to see your house when they walk through the door. One of the very first things any stager is going to tell you is to take out anything that's unnecessary and to declutter. Um, by the way, I just went through this as a conversation I had with a seller. We've put our house on the market and we've decluttered, but there's another layer of decluttering that needs to be done. We talked about this today and I went on to explain to her. You see, when a buyer walks into a house, even though you may have that extra little entry table and it has your favorite items that you collected when you went on your South American trip, those things are precious to you. But to a buyer, I'm sorry, what they do is they take up some of the space. And a good stager is going to know that a buyer is just looking for potential. And in fact, that accent table with your collection can in fact not only take up space mentally for the buyer, but can actually be a distraction. I've seen this happen where someone will walk into a home and their personal possessions or collections and they start looking at that and they stop looking at the house. Selling a house is inconvenient. I'd like to remind you as I did my seller, every ounce of energy and inconvenience now is going to result in payoff and saving your equity later. A stager, your realtor, these are people who are in the buying and selling of homes every day. I agree. Staging your home will make a big difference. I've seen it happen. I spoke with a realtor just earlier this week. He had a house on the market. It was empty. Beautiful home. Had been renovated for three months. No offers. They reduced the price a little bit and staged it. It went into contract within a week. What does that tell you? 